Hi guys, thanks for joining my YouTube channel. Well guys, Marcus responds to Funky Dineva. Okay, Marcus really didn't want to respond because him and Funky Dineva are not on the same level. But of course, the bloggers summoned him. You know, they bombarded his inboxes with this information and pretty much insisted that he respond. You know, to let the people know that Melody does have somebody that will stand up for her. And so Marcus did just that. You know, never coming down to the level of Funky Dineva. Of course, like everybody else, he wasn't happy about him using the B word, although he did not directly call Melody a B. We all know who he was referring to because Melody is the one who brought Kiki on the on the show. That's that wasn't hard. You know, he didn't say, you know, Melody is a B. However, Marcus did address him. He did address that, you know, at some point because we know that Funky Dineva interviewed Melody at one time. You understand? And um, you know, he took up uh for Marcus when he said Martel was homophobic. You know, so he was putting out some positive content about them at one time, okay? I mean, you know, but again, Marcus says, you know, he's flip-flopping one minute, you like her, one minute you don't. And, you know, that he knows now that you're on the other side and that's why he's coming out with this negative, com you know, commentary on her so you know I mean it seemed force you know uh you know he does want the people to know that Melody does have people behind her he says we don't really get involved because we knows it comes with being a public figure it comes with the territory I mean I don't know if people thought Marcus was gonna come and find Funky Dineva to fight him like it's ridiculous okay you know I mean, Funky Dineva is who he is. You understand what I'm saying? There's nothing that Marcus is going to say to him that is going to change Funky Dineva's perspective. You know, Marcus making a public statement is not going to make Funky Dineva apologize. Like, that's just who he is. These are two different, you know, these men are on two different levels. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, it was a good thing, you know, that Marcus came out and stood up for Melody. But I don't think it was necessary. You know, I mean, did he, you know, make uh, some of the fans or some of the people that's constantly, you know, in his inbox sending him stuff and, you know, saying things to him about the show, about social media. You know, did he satisfy them? Of course he did. You know, but other than that, I don't believe it was necessary. Like, Melody will not come out and address Funky Dineva. It's no need to. You know what I'm saying? Why give him that satisfaction? You know, but again, Marcus did not come down on his level. You know, he simply stated the facts. You know, that um, if you don't like my sister, you know, keep it pushing. But you're not going to be disrespectful, you know, to her. And again, Marcus can't make Funky Dineva stop doing anything. He can't even make, you know, him stop calling his sister the B word. It's just, you just can't. You know what I'm saying? You can talk to your blue in the face. You can't make anybody do anything. Even if you fight them, you know, they'll get up and do it again. So, you know, that, that's just ridiculous. So uh, there we have it, guys. You know, Marcus responded to Funky Dineva, letting him and whoever else know that Melody has people, you know, they don't get involved because they understand that she is a public figure and that people are going to have things to say. You know, they're not going to respond by every little thing that goes on with, with Melody. That, that would just be ridiculous. But, you know, he felt like, you know, he needed to or he wanted to, but I, I believe he was saying like, he didn't really want to respond, but I mean, he got so many messages, so many people in his inboxes, you know, encouraging that he says something, 
you know, to let Funky Dine even know that Melody is not out here alone. And she is not out here alone. She's a child of the Most High God. She's never alone, whether she has somebody to fight her battles or not. You understand? Listen, okay, she's never alone. You know, she has Miss Van, her mom. She has her uncles. She, ha she has people. You know, but are they going to come and respond to everything that goes on in social media, on the TV? No, they are not. You know, so guys, if you want to go check out the video, it was kind of long, so I didn't bring it over. But I mean, you could probably find it on YouTube or you can go check out Marcus's page on um, Instagram or Facebook. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.